Please subscribe to Super Saddler's Sip. Right then guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm doing a match review on the Bradford City v Walsall game which ended in a 1-1 draw. Darrell Clark made three changes to the team that started against Exeter City with Hayden White, Danny Guthrie and Caelan Lavery coming into the team. Also Jake Scrimshaw came into the squad for the first time after signing on deadline day. Bradford City named an unchanged team to the one that won 3-1 away at Mansfield Town playing a 4-4-2 formation. The host nearly took the lead in the opening 10 minutes when Dylan Motley Henry put a dangerous ball across the box and Harry Pritchard's shot just went over the bar. After 23 minutes, Walsall made it 1-0. George Nurse got the ball and drove into midfield. He approached the Bradford City box and hit shot with his left foot, which hit the post and went in. Minutes later, Lars Radaboyo had his shot blocked by defender Anthony O'Connor. There were some half chances that came and went for both sides with James Clark heading just over the bar and Dylan Motley Henry finding some space on the edge of the box and his shot just went over the bar too. After a fairly even half, Walsall went into the break 1-0 up courtesy of a brilliant strike from George Nurse. Bradford City started the second half brightly and in swinging corner found Anthony O'Connor at the back post but his head went just past the post. Just after the hour mark, Bradford had a succession of chances with Connor Wood, Clayton Donaldson and Lee Novak going close to scoring. Walsall had some opportunities off counter attacks but that final ball was just missing. With 15 minutes left of the game, Bradford City were awarded a penalty after Liam Roberts collided with Connor Wood and the referee pointed to the spot. Substitute Billy Clark stepped up and took his penalty down the centre of the goal to equalise. The Bantams pushed for a winner but the Warsaw defence saw out the game and earned a hard earned point. Overall I think a 1-1 draw is probably a fair result. I think it was a game of two halves with Bradford City definitely dominating the second half. I'd have probably took a point before the game and we are still unbeaten in the league but I'm a bit frustrated that we were time wasting at the end as we could have pushed on to get a winner late on. Darrell Clark has said he's frustrated that his team didn't hold on to the win but has praised the defensive performance. My man of the match, I'm going to go with Kinsella. I think his desire and his work rate was absolutely incredible. Also, I thought the back four had solid performances too. I thought at times we were sloppy on the ball and we gave possession away very cheaply. Also, I thought the final ball lacked quality at times too. That's our fifth draw in seven league games and we're the only club in League 2 to still be unbeaten. But hopefully we've turned some of these draws into wins. And let's take the positives and move on to Barrow away. Before we end this match review, I've got Bradford City content creator SHD to come onto the channel and give his thoughts on yesterday's game. Make sure you go and subscribe to his channel and hear all his thoughts on yesterday's game. Hello everybody, now my name is Sam. I have a YouTube channel called SHD. Now Seb has invited me onto his channel to give my thoughts on Bradford City 1, Walsall FC 1. I think disappointing will probably be the best way to sum it up. We started off pretty well in the opening 15, 20 minutes and you know, we created a couple of chances. Harry Pritchard, Lee Novak could have probably had a goal each. Um, and then obviously Walsall go and score their goal. Awful defending from us. We had four players who could have blocked or put a tackle in which let him run and he's had a shot and maybe the keeper should be doing better with it. I'm not too sure. It's a very, very poor start, you know, that we played so well on Saturday against Mansfield. We're expecting, you know, win by a couple of goals today, but we just didn't show up again today. We're a very inconsistent side at the moment. We're lacking a bit of creativity in the final third. Obviously, after Walsall scored, we weren't the greatest. I thought we were pretty poor up until about the 70th, 75th minute. We obviously then go and get a penalty. In my opinion, I don't think it's a penalty. If a player gets a shot off and then he's taken out after the shot, I don't think it should be a penalty. So for me, I think Walsall probably being robbed of two extra points. But Billy Clark steps up, puts it down the middle, the keeper dives out of the way. It's pretty poor penalty, to be fair. The keeper stands there, can probably control it. But he goes in the back of the net and then we're kind of pushing for another goal. But we just lacking that a little bit of quality in the final third you know there's no one who really can put a good ball into the box apart from maybe Connor Wood. Harry Pritchard I thought had a pretty poor game. Connor Wood put some great corners into the box. We had about three or four chances at the back post where we should have scored and we just kept heading them wide which is very very disappointing. Obviously Bryce Osano who was our right back in the first half played really really well. He had to come off at half time there's a potential that he could have fractured his foot which is you know, you don't really want to see that at all considering, you know, he's been brilliant since when he has played. I thought Elliot Watt had another fantastic game, but overall, 
we didn't do enough to win. I thought Walsall were there for the take and I didn't think they were great. They didn't really create all too much. Um, they had a couple chances of where we messed up defensively, but apart from that, I didn't really think they did too much. But good luck to Walsall for the rest of the season. Thanks for having me on the channel, Seb. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and also right then guys up the saddlers. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to 1.1k subscribers as soon as possible, so if you could help me get there, I'd really appreciate it. Also, leave a comment with your thoughts on yesterday's game and up the saddlers. Please subscribe to Super Saddlers Sip.